No processed food, no more, stop it. Uh, to be honest, I'm a fan of peanut butter and like McDonald's and stuff after a night spend. Uh, remember, uh, processed food, it, it, doesn't con it doesn't digest the same. So your body composition, bro, it's gonna be all fucked up. You wanna keep it as, um, you wanna keep it as whole food as possible, as natural as possible. I'm talking steaks, eggs, chicken, dairy, uh, farm breads, whey protein and all that. I understand, okay, don't get me wrong. I would personally not really spend money on it in the first like year of training. I just think it's a waste of time. Like if you're if you're having whey protein shakes a year into your training, uh, you're kind of missing the point of eating as much uh, whole food as possible. Eh? Uh, just food for thought. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying I know personally. Um, so those supplements are a waste of money until you've earned a certain physique and a certain type of strength to then take them if that makes sense like creatine there's not much point in taking creatine if you just started going to the gym uh if you're a year in creatine it still won't help that much but bro why not it will, it will make some adjustments i guess um i still personally think it's a waste of money unless you're like five years into training but do your thing I mean, it will help so why not bro um, but that brings me on to my next step is don't waste too much time thinking about supplements, spend more time eating as much possible whole foods, uh, and avoiding crap like McDonald's and all that. Again, um, if you're doing your steps, if you're doing lots of cardio, you're doing, uh, rugby four times a week, and then you've got the weight room four times a week, you're doing, you know, five, most of you don't even rest, bro. So you guys are, uh, requiring your, your body's asking for a lot of calories because you're putting a lot of stress on your physique which is fine i mean you're whilst you're younger your body can take a lot of damage you'll be surprised a lot of cunts used to tell me i was overtraining when i was younger obviously rest is very important and you should prioritize it but people are gonna say to you bro you're doing too much you'll be able to get away with quite a lot like you'll be able to be pretty cheeky with workload and uh, what you what you put on your body but don't let it all be weights and you've got to listen to your body, which brings me on to my other step, which is listening to your body. Um, you're going to go up and down. You're going to bulk for four weeks and then you might hit a plateau on the fifth week. Go, shit, I'm not putting on weight anymore, even though I'm eating loads. What do I do? Maybe it's time to hop on steroids. That's what everyone goes. And then you get these 15 year olds who are on steroids and they look like nothing's happened to their physique. They mess up their hormones. They still don't look like they even go to the gym, let alone take steroids. I really would monitor calories and all of that stuff to how much you're doing. So when I was younger, I was 14 years old, I would go play rugby a lot. And, you know, I try to go pro. Um, my dream was to go, go pro in rugby for a while. So I was always doing rugby at least like four times a week. So I was doing it for school. Uh, I was first team. Then I'd also do it for club rugby uh, outside of school. So on Saturdays and Sundays, I've had matches. And then obviously two training sessions in the week, sometimes three. Plus I was in the weight room. Um, plus I had to walk from class to class because I went to a private school. It was like a castle, bro. I'd have to go from like one end to the other within five minutes. Uh, and it was like a 10 minute, it would be like a 20 minute walk, bro. So when you put that into perspective, I got away with eating a lot of, as I said, clean bulky foods but just lots of it and as long as it was clean occasionally i would have peanut butter bagel protein shake and mcdonald's uh after the gym but because i was just doing so much all the steps everything um i got away with it my next point steps are so important bro steps are going to be your best friend i know everyone says cardio is going to kill your gains bro fuck cardio's day is shit don't do cardio Unless you like core. Cardio, you get these big rugby guys who are like 14 years old. Why do you think they're bigger than everyone else, bro? They do their steps. Steps, more steps means you can eat more. That's how your body works. The more volume on steps you do, the more volume you can put in your fucking mouth. So it needs more volume in the first place. Uh, lifting weights for, for for a few hours a day, you might think you're doing a lot and you are, but it's just not the same. There's science behind it and I can't be asked to explain it. Just be prepared to be a bit leaner than you might expect if you're going to be doing lots and lots of steps but that's not necessarily a bad thing right uh cutting out cardio will not help you bulk up more unless you're cutting out like two hours of cardio a day i'm saying you know oh i can't even i'm not even allowed to do 15 minutes of cardio a day otherwise bro you need to do your cardio you build certain muscles by doing cardio high intensity cardio as well whilst you're younger so when you're older your legs are certain they're developed in a certain way why do you think all these bodybuilders have athletic backgrounds? It all comes down because they did primal stuff, primal exercises, including running when they were younger, because they were athletes. 
uh, cardio is so important if you want to really get bigger when you're older basically um, that moves me on to my next point which is uh, the bread and butter movements of your training do isolations by all means you know doing some pec deck that'll get you some big fucking knockers but do your bench press first uh you, you need to learn how to build a big chest through bench press which i can make a video on that if you want as well as building big strength for your bench press uh you know um and being deliberate with your exercise selection so it's not really that deep i mean i'm using fancy words here all i did was cool i want to get a bigger chest do chest on monday but then i've got to realize also I'm, my shoulders and my triceps need work so i can build my bench press because i wanted to bench i think three plates by the time i was 16 um and i wasn't really there yet so what i had to do was include more exercises and different selection realize that i need to do stuff like instead of your pec deck i did dumbbell press or dumbbell flies just small adjustments like using your free weights and your barbells you're building stronger tendons you're building stronger joints i think isolation movements like the hamstring curl machine is more of something you would do um as well as your rdls or your deadlifts let's say to build your hamstrings in your back but maybe do it afterwards or don't treat it as um if you're bodybuilding it's way different if you're bodybuilding treat your isolations like your compounds i'm just saying if, if you're a teenager and you're trying to get big and strong I would really focus on your compounds and I would not go to failure on any exercises if you're trying to get stronger. You're not going to gain strength, sorry, by um, going to failure and everything. So if you want a stronger bench press, do your bench press sets, do your pec deck, do your shoulder press, do your tricep extensions. Um, try to use as much free weight and dumbbells and barbells as possible over machines. But you can also use machines. A lot of people say, it's not old school enough, I'm not going to use that. It's like, bro... Shit works for a reason, right? But you've got to learn how to do them instead of just, uh, yeah, basically freelancing the whole thing. Which brings me on to my next uh, point, which is lift with purpose and intention. Go to the gym with an idea and a goal. And this is no trauma dump from me. I'm just going to say it how it is because it will help you put things into perspective. I had one pretty solid reason to get into the gym. That was to protect my self and my family um especially my mom against another family member who was abusive obviously i gained muscle and strength pretty quickly i learned how to fight i did lots of combat sports i got really good at fighting um because that was the goal in the time i had to it was almost like an emergency i had to you know um so i got really good results really fast because i put my all into it a lot of you guys you guys start going to the gym i just want to be big and strong okay but set a goal you find out what your purpose is what your main goal your deep down your first ever goal that kind of surrounding the idea of training is for instance if you want to look good uh at a pool party because there's this girl that you like and she's going to be there and it's in three months time and you want to impress her you want to get with her um you need to get ripped and right now you're not in the best shape as possible use that as your fuel that's your reason don't bullshit yourself and say no i need to get bigger because then you're going to bulk cut bulk cut Oh, I want to get stronger. Oh no, I want to get bigger. Oh, I don't know how many choosing. You go around before you know, you made no progress in six months. Pick one idea, uh, one goal, and just stick with it for a short amount of time um, to get the results out of it. Like make it, make it uh, intense. You know, like just fucking compress it. So if you just pinpoint your goal and lift with purpose and intent, work's done. Basically, all you just need to do is go to the gym because you know what you need to do now. You won't spend your time worrying it off is this exercise right or should i be doing this this guy's doing this you won't have that doubt once you realize um why you're doing this my next point is um going out partying listening to your body it's okay you're gonna go out you're young you're gonna go out and drink and do a bunch of fucking crystal meth that's okay just um just be prepared to understand why people who make sacrifices over you over partying they get better results than you don't cry about it. My my fitness goals were getting affected by that. Uh, I just I just had to tone it down. I would just go out maybe once every weekend, full send it, get fucked up, but then I'm done for the week. Life is about balance. So if if you want to skip parties, but not because you want to, because you want to hit your pro, your you know your, your oh I'm not going to hit my protein goal if I go to this party. Uh, if it's a house party, bro, <laughs> just bring your food there. You know how many times I've been at the back of the house party or around a campfire in a summer party. Um, you know, everyone's having beers. I'm having beers, but I've also got my chicken and rice there. I'm eating it. I've, I've got my them. I've got my protein shake, which I have two hours later. I just put it on a timer. Um, it's that easy. The sooner you understand a balance is um, key, the sooner you'll have more fun whilst trying to bodybuild at a young age, whilst you're trying to power lift at a young age, or whilst you're trying to go pro in rugby. You can still go out and get on the piss on the weekend. Just bring your meals with you. But it's up to you to do the homework. It's up to you to do the extra 
work outside of that, there's no two ways around it. Like nothing will beat the work, the hard work you have to put externally around getting stronger and building muscle. That's just how it is. Again, sometimes you're gonna be bulking for ages and then you stop putting on weight, time for a mini cut. You might not want to, but if you wanna put on weight, I still personally at 16 years old, I still at 90 kilo body weight. I didn't get past that until I was 18 because I kept trying to bulk through all those, I just got to a leaner version of 90 kilos, but I still didn't look very good for my age personally. Um, that's fucking cap. I was jacked at 18, but like the fact is then I did a mini cut for seven weeks. Boom, 101 kilos. I put on fat. I put on muscle. I put on all this weight on my, on my lifts. People then thought I took steroids. No, I just, I just got back my bullshit. Sometimes you need to take a step back, get a bit shredded, do a bit more cardio. Um, take it down on the intensity and then boom, and then boom, you sorted out your, um, your problem, your, pla your plateau, but you've got to listen to your body. That also means when your body wants more greens, uh, but you're force feeding it more carbs and protein and stuff, you're not going to get as much out of that as you think you will. I know there's a lot of people out there who say, oh, you've got, you've got to grow up and force feed yourself. It's part of the game. Whilst you're 15, that's not really a thing. Eat your, until you've eaten your full and then Stop there. Go again in two hours. You'll make progress way quicker, way more efficiently, and for longevity, it will just help you. No digestive problems, etc. Um, again, you can be that. I, I used to be the kid who would force feed myself all the time. As soon as I stopped uh, force feeding myself and just kind of eating like from a meal plan I'd made myself, and then got a coach, and then he made something pretty similar to what I'd set myself. So I knew I was doing the right thing. Uh, it, it made sense from there. But what I'm saying is, do your thing, but don't come crying when you realize uh, your digestion's been fucked because. You, you keep pushing this like extra bit of chicken, which isn't really fucking necessary. Um, make sure you know and track. That's an, and that's my final point is tracking your calories. Um, it will help so much. I know I, I, I recommend a lot of kids don't. You don't need to. Just eat as much as you can and much as good, as much good, healthy food as you can. But if you really want to be about your bullshit, bro, it's time to start tracking. Uh, that being said, just enjoy it as much as you can. Um, the more you enjoy it, the further you're going to go. And hopefully that puts you in somewhat of a little direction or not. Uh, it's not really my concern.